The ninth joint annual meetings of the African Union Specialized Technical Committee on Finance, Monetary Affairs, Economic Planning and Integration and the Economic Commission for Africa Conference of African Ministers of Finance, Planning and Economic Development is underway in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. The theme for 2016 is towards an integrated and coherent approach to the implementation, monitoring and evaluation of Agenda 2063 and the Sustainable Development Goals. The AU Commissioner for Economic Affairs, Dr. Anthony Maruping, speaks about the parallels between Agenda 2063 and the SDGs. The theme today uh, is selected, which you have in your hands is to try to, to, to rationalize things because on the global front, we have uh, sustainable development goals. On the African continent, we have Agenda 2063. And uh, we argue that bo both of them have Africa as the source because uh, it is Africa during the time when preparations were being made to negotiate uh, uh, 2030, uh, Sustainable Development Agenda and the Sustainable Development Goals, Africa formulated common African position on post-2015 Development Agenda. And Africa was the only region of the world that had a written, well-articulated proposals on how post-2015 Development uh, Agenda should look like, the global uh, post-2015 Development Agenda. So negotiators found themselves having to follow, to follow uh, 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 this common African position because they didn't have anything written. They had not agreed on anything. But here we had 54 countries that committed themselves clearly on how they would like things to be. So this influenced the work of the Open Working Group and also the formal intergovernmental negotiations. That's why the 17 goals are very much like what is in Agenda 2063, because in formulating that common African position, African stakeholders were consulted, and that was compilation of their views. The same way Agenda 2063 uh, even had broader, broader array of uh, uh, stakeholder, African stakeholders who were consulted to come up with the 20 goals. So uh, clearly there is a lot of similarity. It is true, like one of the speakers was saying, yeah, we have 17 goals and agenda for SDGs, and then agenda 2063 has 20. But it is because uh, in Africa for our own good, in our own agenda, uh, we also want to cover other areas that are not of concern. Remember that the uh, uh, SDGs, Sustainable Development Goals, had parameters, social, economic, and sustainability uh, uh, dimensions. So it's confined there. But Agenda 26.3 is broader. In addition to social, economic and sustainability considerations. There is also political development. We are still developing, we are still devolving. If you look at Kenya, they are in the process of creating uh, uh, provinces or, or you know, devolving. That's what is called a deepening of democracy. So we even have political development. Uh, and we have also arts and culture, uh, which we are also interested in. We also have matters of, of peace and security and stability, uh, which are outside social, economic, and sustainability parameters. So that's why Agenda 2063 is broader. So the next phase is the implementation, but what are the requirements? As long as the contents of the Sustainable Development Goals are assimilated or infused into national and regional strategic and action plans. And as long as the contents of Agenda 2063, the 20 goals, are domesticated by being assimilated or infused or integrated into national and regional economic communities, strategic 
plans and, and, and action plans. Then, then they are they, what, what countries will be having is their own plans that contain this, uh, in addition to other things that they wanted to do as a country, given its peculiarities and specificities. So you don't need another document. You just need a national plan that is containing all this national specific or peculiar national interests, SDGs, and, and, and contents of Agenda 2063. And bingo, there you have. You have one document, one program, and you implement it. So this is the essence of this. We met in Lebra uh, on February 11 and 12 in what we call regional coordination mechanism. This is where all uh, UN agencies uh, come together to see how they can support African Union Commission uh, in its activities since they are all over the, uh, uh, the continent. So we coordinate. So it was a retreat to look at that. And it is there that we agree that no, let's integrate this Let's make sure that the elements of SDGs and the elements of Agenda 2060 are in national plans and regional economic community plans.